Hi Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what is going on with your person during this no contact, no communication period. Why is it that they've suddenly gone cold or distant towards you? Why are they acting weird lately? There's going to be a part two to this reading as well. And in part two, we're going to dive deeper into those messages. It's also going to be sort of like a continuation on part, um, from part one. The extension link to part two of the reading is going to be made available um, just below the video here. <clears throat> Excuse me. For those of you that are also interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is also going to be made available just below the video. Okay, what's going on with your person here? Your person feels things very deeply. You might be dealing with a water sign. Okay, a strong um, earth energy or fire energy is coming up as well. It could be a uh, air sign as well, but I'm picking up that they feel things quite deeply. And because they do, I feel like this is someone who does have some very strong emotional armor on and this is someone who has some very tall boundaries okay some very high walls that they've built up because it feels like this individual has been hurt before they have been hurt in the past they've had their heart broken they've had their trust broken they do love madly and deeply but they're very careful and very selective about whom to give their heart away to because in, in the past it feels like you know they've made mistakes they've given their love to the wrong person or they've placed their trust in the wrong person and they're so scared for history to repeat itself and this is why you know they have their walls up so high they don't want anyone to just take advantage of it of them see with the king of chalices here it just feels like the reason why I feel like he's shown up here because it feels like your person here is he's quite he or she is very concentrated on what's going on between for instance okay they really co concentrate on what's going on between you and them okay so even if you guys are experiencing a bit of a um, no contact no communication or a bit of a discord or disconnect this person is still open to their emotions this person is still open to what the two of you have. It feels like they're trying to... There could be personal things that are going on with this person, but it feels like they're trying to balance a whole heap of emotions and they're trying to maintain their cool. I'm also seeing that they're uh, turning to some creative outlets. So it could be writing, painting or drawing to sort of express some of this really overwhelming emotion. So it just so that their feelings don't allow to get the better of them because this is someone who I feel like does things feel sorry does feel things deeply and as a result they've found an outlet of some sort to allow them to channel some of that expression and some of that creativity here I feel like they're being challenged personally in their lives right now so they could be going through some things there could be some emotional triggers or some emotional traumas here that have resurfaced for this person but I do see them as being quite mature enough to handle what it is that they're going through. But they just might need some time and space to do that. It feels like he or she is quite level-headed and they are in control of their emotions. But you don't want to come on too strong so much so as to suffocate them. So give them the time, give them the space to work through whatever it is that they're going through. They're going to stay true to their emotions. They won't forget about you, okay? They haven't forgotten about you and they haven't forgotten about, you know, what the two of you share. So just give them time to work things out. 
it feels like they're trying to assess something here logically rather than emotionally because it feels like they have a lot of um, emotions and you know they're oftentimes they draw upon their emotions and their intuition but it feels like right now they're trying to manage a situation logically they're missing you and maybe you know with the six of cups it's a good idea that you do give them a little bit of time and space to miss you because it does feel like this person is they have been thinking about you and they've been missing you they've been revisiting the past with the six of cups so it's interesting because I think maybe in revisiting the past it could have brought up some personal trauma or childhood memories for them it could, that could have resurfaced and as a result you know it, it just might, brought, might have brought back some memories some feelings and so what's going on with them is personal but it's also affecting your relationship with this person because you know they're going through a whole heap of emotions um it could also be that something you might have said or something you've done has caused them to revisit a past memory or a past hurt of some sort they might be revisiting the past with you they might be looking back through all the photos and all the memories of the two of you created together and you know simply revisiting them in their mind here and they might want to travel back to a time when things were a lot simpler and a lot happier between the two of you i do feel like this person wants to reconnect or reconnect with you reunite with you and i do feel like this person is going to show up again if they've ghosted you i do feel like the the ghost will return here um, if this is someone who's pulled away or distance themselves i do see this lover showing up again and i also see that this their them re-emerging into your life is going to bring a sense of happiness and joy because you're going the two of you are going to do a lot of reminiscing together you have quite you have a lot of history together you've created a lot of memories even if it was like a really uh if the two of you haven't known each other very long the impression that you've impressed upon each other has been quite strong hasn't it there's going to be a lot of contact a lot of communication here with this person if some of you are doing long distance then i feel like this person might even be traveling from another city state or even country to see you to get closer to you in order to make that reconnection happen um, but again the, the purpose of this is to make things better or the purpose of this is to go back to a time when things were a lot more simpler here someone wants to turn over a new leaf and start fresh but they want to do it from a positive place and that's very important to this person they might take you to a place where you had your first date or to a place where the both of you can really get in touch with your inner child so like a theme park or disneyland or anything like that um, i'm also seeing that your person feels as though your energies play very well together they want to fix things they want to make things better they want to start fresh um, they're working on themselves I feel like they're working on I'm also seeing them being very busy but at the same time they're not forgetting you know to do some self-development and to do some self-improvement so they're trying to work through some things I also feel like they want to work on this situation between you they want to build on this connection um, there's going to be right now there's a bit of a misalignment in your connection but once the two of you come back into alignment into a vibrational frequency with one another i do see there being a lot of contact a lot of communication a lot of uh progress forward momentum here a lot of laughing learning growing together spending time together i also want to say that this person has a bit of a tendency to pull away okay and you might already know this so when things get a little bit turbulent in their lives or things get turbulent between the two of you this person doesn't want to cause any more tension so this is why they pull away and it might work okay uh, maybe they need some time to cool off maybe they don't want to you know add any more tension and stress to the connection and that, that's why they do it but i'm seeing that this is something that they're quite accustomed to and have been doing for quite some time it's quite repetitive or has become a bit of a routine um, maybe they feel as though your relationship your connection has become a little bit too you know too repetitive here 
and maybe they feel like the two of you need to you know go back to the honeymoon phase of the relationship or go back to things when when you weren't putting so much pressure on each other and onto this connection your person does have to they know that they have to work on themselves especially you know the whole um, aspect of them letting you in they are invested in you they are invested in this connection but I do see them being a little bit a little bit closed off a little bit guarded a little bit scared so they know that they have to work on themselves they're aware of it and I think it's something that they are wanting to work on it's something that they are wanting to work through Okay, so in part two of the reading here, guys, we're going to explore when they'll be reaching out and they'll be coming back into your life because I do see that very strongly for you. And, you know, what is it, some of this work that they've been doing on themselves? And will you get to see more of their vulnerable side? When will they finally let their guard down and actually let you in? Because they have a lot of love to give, which is why I feel like they're protecting that. Um, they know that they have a lot of love to give, which is why they don't just go around, you know, giving themselves so easily just to anybody. So we'll see when are they finally going to let you in. So follow me to part two of the reading via the extension link below.